Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. We have almost made it home. We flew home and we were up a little bit high, so the only thing we could see the entire way over here was just fog. But we're almost home. We, uh, we managed to find our drone and for those who watched the last video, that idiot was still in the closet in which we ended the, se the first video. The first night that we went into Deshaun and we hid that in a little utility closet, he was in there. So I had to backtrack the entire length of this stupid tower, find him, and then make my way all the way back down the tower again. It was not, uh, I, w I was not exactly happy with him. The fact that we had to get rid of all those books. Now I had... <sighs> I thought about it. Yeah, there is ways I could have, like, ran down, dropped off some stuff in here. And there's probably other ways I could have gone about uh, getting stuff down. I, I, I realize that. Let me, can I do a... No, none of that's going to stack. Anyway, I realized that there's a way I could have, like, run down the tower, put some stuff in the gyrocopter, made a chest, do that sort of thing, and not had to just r rely on reading all this stuff. I realized that that was a potential. But... It also was not a potential in the fact that I didn't really want to I have to go all the way down then all the way back up again. So that's more or less where I'm at with that. <laughs> so we're going to drop off a whole bunch of things real quick. I tried to leave right at the time in which the day was starting, basically. So I made it all the way down the tower, got to my gyrocopter at four o'clock, left, and then immediately started heading home so that I had plenty of time to get all the way over here. It just happened to work out almost perfectly that I made it over here right before the day ended or right before the day started when I normally start recording. That was just good timing. I would say on my part, but I really didn't have a whole lot to do with that. I just left and got lucky. All right. I think that's pretty much everything. I need to go through and organize this chest as in like, there's probably things I need to get rid of, move, scrap, do things with. I've got a lot of stuff over here. Like I could scrap like all of this down. I've got, look at that, a full stack of brass here sells for 3000. You know what? I've got, let, let's do that. Let's go ahead and just put one entire stack in here this is all the stuff we have to sell it's not a tremendous amount but i do oh hang on i forgot to even open this um i do have other things that i can sell that i just got um but i need to go through and put some mods and stuff in them what is this an smg auto turret and some nine millimeter ammo huh. may have to use those during the next horde and i help out with the birds because they kind of suck okay so we're home we got everything here we emptied all that stuff that was over there so we're going to do exactly what i said we're going to do let me see. We're going to take, uh, let's do it like this. That way I can keep it kind of organized. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Put you right there. Ugh. Okay, we're going to buy the house across the street. Then we're going to flip it, decorate it, and sell it for a quick 150 monies. 150,000 monies. Because it's a good way to make money, and I want to. Also, if it was completely up to me, which I do realize, I was thinking about this as I was flying back home. If it was completely up to me, I would just turn off Horde Nights for the remainder of this series, and I would have just stayed over in the desert town and done some more of those. But it's not completely up to me. That We can't change the rules this far into it. So we're going to work on buying this house. We're going to go through and clean it out. All right. Well, let's buy. And there it goes. Lovely. Okay, hang on. Before I forget, because I'm going to... Uh, no, I can just take what I have in here. Let me make sure everything's reloaded after I ran back over here. I didn't really think about that too much. Okay, so we just cleared this place out before we left. Now, what are the odds that anything actually spawned back in over here? Kind of sounds like it. No, Bruce is going to moonwalk out. Here, let me help you out. There you go. All right, so things spawned back in. Not a big deal. This isn't that complicated of a peel wise. So we can just run in, beat some zombie booties in, tear some stuff up, and make this place our own. I just saw you, sir. The overachiever following me around the house. Nice. Well, we were gone long enough since the last time we first came in here that at least some of the loot and stuff respawned, so that's good. Oh, yeah? Who dat? Were you under the stairs? Who's making... A oh, you are under the stairs. Frank? Holy cow, we got a beast of a hit on there. How did you get under the... Hang on, is there a, a way to get over here? Hey, you. Edgar, <laughs> what are you doing under the stairs, man, you creeper? Freaking hiding out over there, waiting to punch me in the ankle. Not very cool. Oh, what's up, Dan? Man, I'm just getting lucky with the one-hit shots today. Okay, I think this place is cleared out. We have a lot of work we have to do. Hang on, let me get rid of you. Give it a chance to reset. And... Oh, stuff and things. Let's see, scrap you. You know, I'm just going to drink you. I'll take... Well... Nah, I might as well just scrap you. A level 5 wooden club is not a horrible find early on. This late in the game, meh. It's not great, but it is what it is. 
So I want to get all of the stuff that's important first. Then we'll go through and, well, I mean, we'll do all the looting and stuff first. We'll get all the important crap out of here. And then we'll start worrying about trying to beat this place down. Now, I still have a plans, and I asked you guys, and I posted a poll, I think, or at least I discussed with you guys, the notion of getting the lovely Miss Angel to join in on a non-recording time or something, like overnight, and she can go through and do all the actual decorations because I'm not great when it comes to decorating. I'll do the remodeling and the repairing and the things like that, but then I will let her go through and do the actual decorating, give her options to plant stuff and things like that. I think I think she'd do a pretty good job and maybe give it a little bit. It's not going to give it any more resale value, but you know what I mean. Take you and you, throw you down. You're empty. Nothing up there. Cool. All right. If I remember correctly, there wasn't a lot of really good trash or... I'm searching through the trash, so I said it. <laughs> there wasn't really a lot of good loot in this place. It was just a bunch of random crap. But we're going to have to do a lot of cleaning out of stuff anyway, so I might as well get all that we can. Then we can run home, drop it all off, and uh, then we can come back over here and just go full-on demolition. And that'll just be lots of fun. And then we'll tell her, it's like, hey, by the way, guess what? We tore up everything. Now you got to make it look pretty again. And I'm sure she's going to be like, okay, well... The tools that you provided me with kind of suck. So, um, hang on. Uh, let me see. Would it be an axe? Yeah, get some more coal from that. So, yeah, I'm going to assume that she's going to look at everything that we're providing and it's going to be like, oh my God, you left me with the worst possible things to decorate this house with. What am I supposed to do with this? And we're like, you know what? That's why we pay you the big bucks of zero monies. Well, they made me some coffee, so that's always nice. It was awfully kind of them. It left me an empty jar in the fridge. That's kind of crappy of them, but eh. I'd throw you away because I don't need you. Give you a chance to respawn. Sure, why not? We'll take the lead. We're going to take all this crap and take it back home anyway. Got our shelves a shamich. I don't think we need... I think, actually, don't we need a shamich in order to be able to make one of Grandpa's elixirs? I cannot honestly remember if that is true or not. I don't remember. I guess if it is, then we'll worry about that when we get there. Did we get anything any good? Uh, just paper. Lovely. Still nothing in the bookshelf. Regardless of where we go, it's always just garbage. I mean, okay, I can't really say that. And Deshaun, we found several books that we could have brought back and sold. Would have been fantastic, but no. Somebody, we're not going to name names, but somebody decided to take a sweet little vacation and left us all alone to handle the rest of the tower by ourselves. And... Okay, seriously, why can I not jump straight up and force us to have to sell loot because somebody wasn't there to help me carry the load? I'm not going to name names or anything, but I think we all know who we're talking about here. All right, well, I think that's about it as far as stuff and things. This was empty still. It didn't give me anything extra. We found a press boy cap, so I don't even know what to do with that. Ain't no thing. You, you know what? I'm kind of curious. Uh, sure, I'll take you. Can I from here? Let's see if it works. Uh, okay, I don't think it works this far away. We can craft from um, we can craft from boxes from all the way over here. So all the stuff I'm going to need to be able to repair things, I can just straight up yoink it out of the chest from all the way across the street, and that's lovely. But we can't just do a mad stack there. It's got to be kind of close at least. If we put you in there, you're going to be kind of full pretty soon, huh? Put you in there and put you in there. Okay, we should be good to go. Now we can go through and start doing all the clearing out. This house is definitely going to require a lot more work to get it back to functional than the this house over there. That one wasn't in bad shape. It just needed a little bit of clearing out of junk. This one, look at this. This place is nasty. It has definitely taken a couple hits. We're going to have a lot to have to do here to beat this out. But you know what? That's what we're, that's what we're here to do. I like doing these kinds of videos. I uh, probably could have wrenched that apart, but... How did we miss? It's kind of weird that they had the curtains decorating the outside of the wall instead of the actual window. They had a half mini blind there, and then they had curtains on the walls, which I get is, I guess it was kind of going along the lines of like maybe it was a shutter. I guess. I don't necessarily know why they had to have it like this. I mean, look, it's probably the same way again. Curtains are meant to kind of block the windows. There's no curtain rods across the top, just some haggard blinds. In my world, curtains are meant to at least kind of block the windows. Even if I have them open so that you can allow some light in, they're still in front of the windows, not over here just hugging the walls. So I'm kind of just going room by room and clearing out all this stuff. We'll worry about busting out the windows and stuff here in a little bit. I'm trying to get all the good stuff that I can first. Um, like with these, I can wrench this apart. 
or I can miss and no, hey, stop it. There we go. We can get that. We'll be able to get some good resources from some of this stuff that we absolutely need. Like we get some electrical parts, we get some more iron. We'll get the things that we can absolutely. Is it foggy here too? Oh, okay, so we went from this world being foggy every time we rounded the or raining every time we rounded the corner to it being foggy like every other day now. It is almost absurd how freaking much fog we have in this game. It's like Silent Hill up in here, except for none of the cool demon-looking things crawling around trying to eat us. All right, bathroom's clear, and we move into this room. So far, it hasn't been too bad. I mean, it's, you know, pretty simple. We haven't found anything that's, like, really difficult to have to bust apart. Nor have we got anything that's really... Excuse me. It's just, like, really, really good either. Uh, hang on. I don't think I'd... Hang on, I didn't even come... I didn't even come in the attic. I'm over here just remodeling the house, and Gary just absolutely just does not give a crap. He's like, hey, man, it's not my house. I don't care if you tear everything up. Just do your thing. Guess we should probably make sure we're not going to get hit by anybody real quick. I think the main loot's up in here. Usually there's, like, big mamas over here. I guess we get to re-loot the, the good stuff over here. Uh, you know what? We'll just go ahead and eat the steak. You are garbage. I'll just take you here. Take you to sell and take you with me. Lock picks and chain parts, basically. Okay, well, that's not terrible. It's not terrible. Lois is, you know, hanging out, doing her thing up here. Uh, we definitely got to do some work on this hole. This furnace thing over here just looks kind of... Look, okay, so you got an air conditioning duct to go in, in there. Where does it go? I have to assume it's supposed to go down from there. But then it's like, all right, so you go down into this wall. Where, where does that dump out? Like, there, there's no vent over here. Does it just dump out into the walls? I now realize it's an aesthetic thing. I mean, I'm not chastising where all the aspects of a POI should make some sort of sense. Okay, we're going to get the entire downstairs done before I worry about doing the attic. Just one thing at a time. We'll get, the, we'll get this downstairs part done here. Then we'll go upstairs. You know what? I'm going to leave the appliances alone for the moment. I'm going to give her a chance to... That way she's not having to try and redo some of this. Because things like a, a retro fridge and some of this stuff here you can't necessarily get unless you're in creative mode. And so I don't want to deprive her of having that as an option. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything on any of the windows right over this way. I did. And we got an airdrop. Speaking of, what I need to do is I need to get rid of, Or not get rid of, but I need to just hide you real quick. Because I'm not going to be doing you anytime soon. See which direction you're going to be. Uh, hang on, am I? Okay, I'm looking the wrong stupid direction. It's this way. All right, so you're right on the edge of town. Not a big deal. Do a quick one out there so we can keep up with you. By the way, if you're new to the channel and you have no idea why we mark, um, we do like quick marks on airdrops when they have their own little marker is because there's been enough times in our experience in this game that things have just absolutely disappeared when they shouldn't have so we're just like oh yeah sure i'll go get that tomorrow and then we load up the game the next day and the airdrop is not there at all so we just developed a habit a long time ago of just you know what throw a quick waypoint on there early on and that way if and or when it disappears or the smoke's not there we at least know where it's at trying to wander around lost for a long, long, long time trying to find where it put the airdrop got really annoying. All right, so I'm going to assume this is stone, right? Yeah, okay, let's chop this away and get this leveled off. All right, that's uh, that's a start. It's a terrible start. This place is haggard, at least with this part right here. Well, all I have to do is just beat this apart, knock down the pieces of the wall that are actually broken there, and then just replace them and the wall will be good to go. So it's not a super complicated part to redo this part. Excuse me. So these little broken parts right here don't have near as much durability. So if you're trying to do this sort of thing yourself and you're just like, oh my God, this one block's got like 10,000 durability. Aim for the pieces that are kind of broken. These little half slivers of pieces sticking off here because then you can uh, chip this away. They only have 500 a piece. The ones that are beside it, you know, they're the ones that have 10,000 and take the longest to try and beat apart. And there we go. Nice finished wall there. I promise this time I will go through and upgrade all of the wood before I just paint over it. I know last time people were just like, oh, well, a typical contractor. Just, you know, put a piece of fake wood over it and call it good and don't even bother trying to repair the hole. Just paint over it, basically. It was funny. It was one of those that I kind of forgot about after I put the wood in there as a temporary spot. I forgot to go back and do some more with it. So, yeah, that, that was my bad. But I promise I'll actually 
actually do it right this time. I will remember to uh, get all the stuff upgraded this time before I just paint over it. Deal? Now let me chop you down real quick. That's going to be a decor thing. She may or may not want to remove that. Let's see, we can leave the, we can leave this, and no, we're going to take you with us. Leave the corner workbench there, just in case there's something that she wants to do with this. Ah, uh, there's another room that's busted out. This is another room that we can kind of fill in. I know I need to fill in for structural support. I need to fill this in with dirt, and we'll get to that. Uh, I don't have the dirt on me. I mean, obviously, in order to be able to make dirt, you just need some clay. Let's see, do I even have that? Let's see, how much can I make? 192? I don't need that much. How about we start with 30 and see what that does. All right, let's chop down all this stone in here and kind of get it back down to ground level. All right, that looks uh, that looks a little bit better. Hang on, we got, forgot some grass right there. We got a few little spots over here that we have to try and dig up a little bit. Uh, I accidentally got a little bit overzealous on that part. So let me see on the off chance... Uh, that I made enough dirt to actually fill this in here. I don't necessarily know if I will or not uh, have enough. Of course, I can make more. It's not really a big deal. Stay right over there. Trying to, I'm just trying to make sure structurally wise, you know, if I'm going to do this, I might as well put in the effort to make sure it's done right. You know, I'm supposed to be some sort of professional. I don't know whoever gave me a professional license to fill dirt holes in, but you know what? You got to at least try to do a good job. No half aing it. I think that's pretty good. Let's see here. That should go all the way up to where I'm going to be putting the blocks in here. That'll be good. Just like that. Put one in right there. And we'll put you right there to kind of level that off. And we got a little bit of a divot right there. That's not at all what I needed to do here. All right. Let's see if this works. By the way, here's a pro tip in case you're trying to do some sort of renovating sort of thing. If you put down frames, it levels the ground underneath it here. So if you got some weird undulations and you're trying to figure out how to fix it, just Hello? Uh, yeah, excuse me. Just put a whole bunch of frames down and most of the time it will level the ground off a little bit. Now, did it do it here? Let's see. It did. Look at that. Leveled the ground off, so now we don't have a divot right over there anymore. That's fantastic. We ended up with a little bit of extra dirt, but no big deal. I'm sure there's probably plenty of holes outside that we're going to have to fill in as we go through here as well. But we got a little bit more to clean up, and then we'll make our way into the attic. We'll keep the storage rack in here because I think it looks okay. Lots of walls to have to repair a small hole on the floor. Technically, we could repair from this direction. Uh, just because it's easier than trying to jump back and forth over the hole. Let me clear away this little spot real quick. Alright, that, that at least kind of clears up the hole that is from above. Now we got these, that right there, these these spots like I hear where there's a, a broken piece out of the wall there. You can just beat those down because it's, only, it's a half broken block. So if we're trying to go for full integrity here, we'll get those upgraded, get those painted, and that'll look good. This room definitely looks horrible but it looks better than it did oh we forgot the hand cart let's go ahead and break you apart and i think the basement is done-ish done-ish as far as what i'm doing today this whole air this whole wall needs to come down i need to just at least this part here this this outside line blocks here this is not providing any form of structural support it looks terrible I just have to make sure I don't accidentally implode the house because that would take a little bit longer to repair. I'm thinking we can do this, open this up here. If we get ready to, you know, we can put another wall in here if we need to and get these upgraded so that they're a little bit stronger. But having this opened up here is not a bad idea. Hey, look, there's the air conditioning duct work that I was talking about earlier. So somehow we get from the attic to the basement without it being connected to anything. And that's a little bit fishy if you ask me. All right, this looks good. We'll worry about painting this sort of stuff later. Let's head into the attic and see what kind of horrible stuff we have up there. This definitely needs some help, but we'll worry about that later. We may end up redoing the way this entire... Oh, we got to redo the roof too up here. And the random flashlight that's magical. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave that there for a moment just so I can see what I'm doing a little easier. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. I had a full-on brain fart. We're going to end up with a whole bunch of supplies of stuff we don't necessarily have to have anymore. I was just talking about how our chest at the house is completely full of crap. And here we are adding some more crap to it. We had a whole bunch of paper from here. But if you get a stack of 300 paper, it sells for almost something. I don't know. It used to be worth it. If you went into, if you went into like the paper mill... 
for instance, that POY, if you went into the paper mill POY and uh, chopped down all the paper, you could get an okay amount selling that here. It's not a tremendous amount. You're not going to be rich off of one paper mill, but it's okay, I guess. Uh, I hate to get rid of those little boxes. We're going to, of course, but I, I hate to get rid of them just because, you know, uh, if we leave this here long enough and the loot refreshes, this is where all the good loot is. So it's kind of like, I kind of want to leave it there just so I can run back over after we sell the place. Holy crap. It's got some durability to it. And see what kind of good loot they have there. Maybe I could add an extra hatch on the outside so that I can creep over here every few days and they never even know I was there. That sounds honest, right? Or this is the entire attic. What I could do is just like wall this up so it looks like, you know, the edge of the attic stops right here. Put a secret tunnel on the outside right over there. And our house is that way. And we could just sneak in here from the outside and they'd even never even know that we were in their house. It's not creepy, right? Right? <laughs> That's pretty creepy. By the way, don't ever do that. If for some reason you think I'm advocating adding a secret place to somebody's house, don't, let's, let's not do that. Uh, let's see. Fireplace needs to be rebuilt pretty well. We got another... This is where we came up earlier. I guess we'll go ahead and take the flashlight out. Um, I think this area is done as far as cleaning stuff up. Uh, removing of the garbage. Uh, of course, we'll worry about doing the outside later on here. We may let our interior decorator do that part because I don't want to. And, you know, who knows if she'll actually... Oh, nice. Super corn recipe. I'll take all that. Who knows if she'll actually see this video enough to be able to complain about me giving her jobs of cleaning up garbage and, you know, cleaning up all the grass and stuff. Did I clean up? Get all the trash over here. Got some more out in the this part. Let me just get rid of you real quick. I don't think there's anything underneath the porch. It doesn't look like it. This needs to be repaired. I'm not even sure what that little plate is right there, but I'm sure she can probably figure out. Now, of course, you know, some. I keep saying she's going to do this, she's going to do that. I'm going to do a lot of it. She's just decorating. I'm just being silly. You know, I'm not going to be like, okay, well, I cleared all the trash away. It's your job to do everything else. And ta-da, I'll make all the money and you get paid jack diddly squat. I am going to actually do some of it. I'm just horsing around. Whoops, of course it reset right when I got ready to hit it. <laughs> of course it did. Yeah, so we got like all of this area over here. Like, I don't necessarily know if, I, I can't just chop this down because the level of the house, I don't necessarily know if it goes down a full two blocks because it's sitting up on this, this embankment here, basically. And so I don't necessarily know if I could just dig it out or not. I think it may end up causing problems if I tried to dig all this dirt out and make it level. So I don't know for certain if I'm going to have to try and make it level the rest of the way around. I don't know yet. We'll have to see, I guess. Let me get the rest of this stuff here. Find a couple cans. We need to break down. Let me see. Break you down. We did find some springs while we was taking apart the bed, so that's good. Yeah, see, this is another place where it's got, you know, the landscaping of this thing goes around and then it just stops where the uh, entrance area is to the basement. So what I could do is I could just break all this down, knock the windows down, wall this up entirely so that that's not even an option and then just dirt it out over here. But I don't know. I, I think having the, the windows in the basement would probably be a good idea necessarily. You know what I mean? I'm kind of just talking amongst myself. It's kind of like when I'm streaming here. If I actually have a question, I use my safe word, pineapple, and that way people can assist me. Yeah, I think that's about it for today. Or if not for today, but as far as this house goes. Did I get you? I'm going to go ahead and bust you up. Yep, that's the wrong tool, just in case you were keeping score at home. I kind of want to run over and get that airdrop real quick, just see if there's anything good in it. I think I got one thing over here worth selling. I can slap you in there. Let me scrap you down, scrap you down. I definitely don't need the glass. I'm just going to throw you outside and hope for the best. My food chest is completely full. I don't have any more room. Well, I have one thing because I took it out of here, but I, I need to go through and like find a place for seeds and these kinds of things and move them over to a different spot. It, it's full, I tell you. All right, so let's see. I need this let me see i guess i don't need one of these things with me probably no i'm gonna end up needing that i'll just put you right there for now we should be able to do repairs um from the house with the supplies we have here real quick before i forget hey i didn't run into too many things i want to go get this airdrop because it's right on the edge of town and that way i'll have it i think our trader reset while we were gone over there exploring the desert towns here i think he did 
Let me see. Okay, so he would have reset on 61 and 64. So if we go over there tomorrow, I can spend tonight going through and looking at all the crap that I did get from Deshong and see if I can maybe get like a chest full or at least a decent chunk of things to go sell him. Since we just dropped 100 grand on a house, I definitely need to replenish as much of that as possible. And ta-da! And before we even forget, go ahead and remove you real quick and see what we get in here. Scrap armor bundle and some painkillers. I'm going to guess level three. So, you know what? Let me put you right there and there and put you right there and open. Oh, wow. I wonder if any of that's better than what we're currently rocking. Let's see here. So we got a SWAT helmet, heavy armor. This is considered heavy armor as well. Hang on. Okay, so that's actually pretty decent. This is not even as good as what I'm having. It's a level six. All right, some scrap gloves. We're using padded gloves because they're a lightweight. These are better armor, but they use more stamina. That's the reason why we're not. Scrap chest armor. We're using a six. Five is not as good, so we can mod it up and sell it. Uh, scrap leg armor. We use a military leg armor. This is roughly close enough to the same. I'm not even going to bother because this holds one more mod slot. And we're using military boots. And these are not as good. Okay, so if nothing else, check it out. I mean, they're worth several hundred dollars a piece. There's probably two grand worth of random stuff just sitting there that I can throw some mods in and uh, sell those for a decent amount. Nice. That was an okay drop. It wasn't a tremendous, huge thing. Like, oh my God, I can't believe we finally got blah, blah, blah. You know, that sort of thing. And also, as I was mentioning a video or two ago, I want to look into seeing how many different kinds of vehicles I can make. Because I've got tons of supplies laying around. And if it's things like, oh, I need wheels or I need a blah, blah, blah. I, can, I mean, there's freaking cars right all over the place here that I can just random disassemble. Un unplanned random disassembly. I like that phrase for blowing stuff up, you know. By the way, you can tell this house kind of... Wait, no, never mind. I was going to say this house didn't reset because I see all the landmines over here. Um, I thought I got rid of some of these landmines. I may or may not have. So parts of this house may have reset. There's probably zombies inside. We're not going to go in there, though, because we sold this house. It's not ours anymore. We don't have the right to do that. Okay, so let me see real quick. I do have a little bit of wood on me, but I should be able to do the repairs from the stuff that I have over here inside my chest at home. It's more or less what I'm going with. Okay, so let's see. Can I? I can. That's just going to make my day so much better. And we missed one right there. Can I put you in there? I can. See? Look. We upgraded now. So you don't have to worry about me just painting over at this time. We're actually doing what we're supposed to. Ish. Tub got a little damage, but it wasn't me. Okay, we're good here. I'm just trying to get the things upgraded that we did replace the blocks for. We still got to do all the roof work down there, too. Okay, this room is okay. Let's get this one upgraded. This room's good. Let me check around the corner. That wall needs to be replaced. That one needs to be replaced. Get these upgraded real quick. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, you got one extra reinforced wall there. And I think that's good over here. Fix you a little bit. It's just cobblestone. This is what this is. This is cobblestone here. So if I need to repair any because I got a little bit overzealous and beat on it, it's not a big deal to just fix that. And then, of course, paint it. This white brick here actually looks pretty good. I'll probably leave that for the basement down here. You know, let me crack you open real quick because you're definitely busted. Fix you. There was another one right over here. Actually, there's a couple more over here. Might as well get these. Let me get rid of that. That's good for now. We see we leave that window there. It provides a little bit of extra light. It's not terrible to actually have a little bit of basement windows there. And I guess realistically, it helps keep from getting some molds and stuff there because it's got to provide some ventilation or something. I don't know. I'm not a contractor. I don't necessarily know. I'm not even going to pretend like I know. All right. Well, this was a pretty good first day. This house is ready to be fixed, basically. So tomorrow, we'll go through and see if we can't fix the house or fix the places where it's actually broken. The houses or the holes in the walls, what I keep trying to say, the hole in the ceiling, the missing ceiling, all that sort of stuff. We'll see if we can get that fixed tomorrow. Uh, for tonight, I want to... It's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go ahead and spend the rest of tonight, give me through the rest of tomorrow to get all of this stuff, you know, ready to sell. See how much stuff we can get ready to go, basically. So anyway, I'm going to let you guys go on this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor, leave a like on it. 
If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already and click the little bell so you get notified when new videos go live. And in the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later.